Good afternoon, everybody. This is Jim Weston. And I'm Mike Watson. And we are New England Drone Works. Today we just finished our first Part 107 school. We yes, had we uh, a few students here. We're going to be interviewing two of them coming up here on our show. And I hope you like it. Mike, what did you think of it? Well, you know, everything has its first day. And uh, I think overall it was a successful class. I think it was, too. There was a lot of information there. And... I think we we packed a lot of information in the heads of Absolutely. <laughs> of yep. our students and right. and uh, I think we did very well on this one right here. Yep. We hopefully will have some new uh, light, newly licensed pilots here coming Absolutely. up. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, we've already shamelessly uh, recruited them, and I That's think right. they shook their head yes. Uh, well, we're going to say they did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and, and uh, I'm going to get Mike to interview one of the students, and I'm going to interview the other, so stick around. Absolutely. We'll be right back. <laughs> And we're back, and we've uh, slid Jim out of the room, and we've brought in one of our students. Uh, this is Steve, and he's just uh, one of our first ones to go through the class. And we'd just like to uh, congratulate you on surviving, and uh, hopefully things went well for you. Thanks. Yep. Yeah. Um, yep, Steve Carey. I live down near Belfast in Knox, and uh, my intention to get into the flying drones which was not for commercial flying per se, um, I really just recreational. But I could did, once I got involved in it and saw the potential that possibly people come in up to me and asking me, um, "Geez, can you take a picture and can you can you do this for me?" And then I realized, well, I, I gladly do a lot of things for nothing. But these commer sure. commercial companies, right? Well, maybe that maybe there was something more. There's always somebody asking. There's always a lot of interest in what you're doing, and and uh, yeah. Uh, but you know the important thing, you know, especially if somebody asks you, you know, if you uh, uh, would like to sell a photo or right. if they take one that maybe you gave them and, and use it for you know, uh, you know, to monetize so, it. Right. Um, you know, it's good to have your bases covered. And uh, so I thought, yeah, this this opportunity came upon me. Plus, besides the fact. The money thing really wasn't as most important to me as was the safety of it, mm -hmm. and I really didn't want to sit through an online course. And I was just going to ask you, uh, you know, how you felt, uh, you know, sitting in a live class maybe was beneficial to taking an online course. Um, yeah, first of all, you, you guys, as your your personal experience was was very good to share. Sure. To get some knowledge out of that as well. You get a little real real world thrown in there. Uh, yeah, some of your own experiences mm -hmm. and um, some, which I always like, tricks in remembering some of the study materials as opposed right. to just reading off the line and in, in, in ways of, uh, you know. Yeah, dead recollection is always kind of hard there. It's always right. good to, right. Right, sure. and um, face-to-face questions. The mm -hmm. ability to be able to ask questions is, is uh, uh, was worth it to me too as well. Right, and you know, after the fact, of course, we're welcome to uh, have you uh, ask us questions later on uh, via email or maybe even a phone call at 2 a.m. and uh, right. we'll call and check on you and uh, <laughs> make sure you're doing okay. So Well, don't watch out what you ask for, I promise. <laughs> but no, that, that also, you know, I, I hadn't really thought about that when I came here, but um, the ability to, to give you guys a call or something if I have a question. Oh, absolutely. And to uh, to know some of the sources that you've shared and um, that that that's going to be a, a nice resource as well. Sure. Yeah. Any other overall thoughts on the course there? This is your uh, your chance to. Um. No, I mean I'm I'm. Uh, there was things there that I didn't realize you really need to know or have to know, mm -hmm. and uh, that I didn't. Just the, the learning the maps. Uh, There's a lot of data. Besides there. Yeah, it's the drone things, it's pretty yeah. pretty interesting stuff, yeah. and and what the numbers mean and all that. I had no idea that would be as a UAS pilot, you know, mm -hmm. have to know more some of that stuff. That doesn't. But there is a lot more 
to it than I probably would have got from an online yeah. uh, venue. Yep. Um, to go back over something like I, I know a couple times we went back over things that we didn't quite get, so we kind of right. back backed up. Absolutely, you don't have that yes. option all the time. So with right. you guys, it was a nice to be able to go yep. to back to go back over it. And, right, and and, and sometimes with more than one of us, you know, being able yeah. to offer different perspectives, maybe uh, sometimes we can explain it in a different form. Right, uh, right. to help you understand maybe from a different angle too, and, and maybe even to remember it better in a different way. Right, and absolutely. The materials. Yep. So uh, yeah, no, I, I I thought it was I got a lot more out of it than I. Pretty sure I would have tried to do it online. Yeah, excellent. Well, it sounds like uh, you did pretty well, and uh, you know, there's always uh, further education, and uh, you know, yeah. a lot of the rules and stuff always change. Uh, I would like to congratulate you, sir. Well, thank you. And, uh, and I appreciate you, you guys enjoyed our class. I did, and uh, I got a lot of resources, and and uh, you asked and said that if we need you, maybe that might be a mistake because we might I might be. Like calling on you for something else. Oh, not a problem at all. That's what we're here for. <laughs> all right. And without further ado, we'll uh, switch over and uh, let my good buddy uh, Jim uh, interview another student, and we'll see how they fared. Hey, welcome back, everybody. I'm Jim Weston, and I'm sitting here with Daryl Goodrow. He's one of our Part 107 students, and he just finished the class today. So, Daryl. What made you want to get into drones and, and what made you want to take our class? Well, to start, I uh, played with a drone uh, for a customer of mine. They wanted me to teach them how to get the goggles set up to work with a drone. So I taught myself how to fly the drone, use the drone, connect the goggles, and then learned I didn't really know any of the laws. <laughs> I've gone back and looked, and I think I can count a handful of them that I came very close to breaking, maybe a few <laughs> other ones. And so I wanted to learn, uh, mostly I wanted to learn the laws to make sure I wasn't breaking them. Uh, I would like to be able to monetize using my drone as, as time very goes Very smart on. move, yeah. And uh, so I figured I may as well go ahead and get the license and learn what it is I need to know. Uh, I was shocked at how much more information was, was going to be required in order to take this test. and so. Having gone through the course, I'm very glad I chose to do it here in a, in a live class setting versus uh, trying to sit through and muddle through learning it online. Good. Well, what kind of, give me a little like a brief synopsis of your background and, and how you think that working with drones will help you sure. uh, with, your, with the type of work that you do. Sure. So I own a, a small uh, service-based IT business. And Where out of? Out of Booth Arbor, Maine. Is there, is there like a company name to it? Yeah, or? it is Goodrow Technology Group. Goodrow and, Technology Group. Plug. <laughs> Who broke it? Com. I might put that right up here, by the way. And if you got a website, I'll put it right up here too. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, so I, I intend to monetize uh, the use of the drone a little bit through that organization, where I'll be using it to site cameras in, my install uh, security good, cameras. Yeah. So I can use it now instead of having to climb up a ladder and hold a camera, look at a little monitor, and see what I can get for a picture. Yep. Just fly the drone up, take the shot, and then can deliver that to the customer to show them where I can be putting cameras and what they're going to see for an image. Unbelievable. That's awesome. So what, what did you like best about the class? Uh, I would say what I liked best about being in an, in an in-class situation was the immediate ability to ask, and ask questions to go right back over material or to interrupt you an hour later and say, hey, that thing you said an hour ago, I did. just remembered <laughs> why I didn't get it and could you go back over that? And so in some cases that would uh, allow you the chance to say what you said in a different way and, and a lot of those times you notice that I caught it then. And, and, it and another thing too I noticed when you did do that, we actually discovered there was a couple of things that might have been missing in it, so it's going to just improve the classroom later on and that I appreciate because we actually have some really good minds here in this classroom and I really love working with people like that so I appreciate what you did for us when you came in here and, and you pointed out a few things uh, that's really going to help improve the class and all that too so um, so later on uh, we're going to do a follow-up on the two students that we did interview today and when they do get their licenses, we're going to make them take a picture of that license and send it into us so that we can put it on a future show. But other than that, do you recommend other people take this course? So yeah, I uh, would definitely recommend people uh, come in and take the course. One of the other major benefits of coming in here is I now know two other people that are drone pilots. I've met a new student who will become a drone pilot, and we can now all network with each other. So if I find work that's up this Fantastic way, idea. not worth me driving up here, I can send that work your way. Like 
likewise with you guys down my direction. And uh, I'm also really interested in finding out more about what you guys are doing with Search and Rescue and uh, seeing if we can fill the go. need in down in Lincoln County. There you go. See that? Um, it, it, any way that we can help in that type of fashion, we, we will definitely respond to that with no problem at all. And Mike is a good person to, to get a hold of that right there because Mike has the best background for, for search and rescue. And uh, as far as the, the drone portion of that goes, we wouldn't mind spreading that out. We're trying to make the awareness a little bit more uh, uh, further to get drones on the sites of, of uh, places where there's search and rescue or search and recovery. Now just to remind everybody out there, um, if you do have a drone and you're not licensed and you're just basically a casual pilot or a recreational pilot, uh, if you do hear of a search and rescue or search and, um, search and recovery in your area, we ask you please do not take off with your drone to try and, and, and help with the situation. Uh, unless you've been asked to and you can't actually do it unless you actually have a pilot's license to do it with but if you want more information about getting involved with something like that and going through the steps of getting your license in order to be involved with this please give us a call at this number right here 207-951-5002 or this number right here 207-944-7706 and that'll connect you directly with Mike Watson and he will be able to give you any and all the information information that you need to help us with something like that and we do appreciate the help and the more we have in numbers the better off or the better chances of somebody being found in a search and rescue uh, situation so anything else you'd like to add before we uh, no I just want to thank you guys for making this available for us as I looked around there were tons of options online they were all too confusing and <laughs> your your costs were, were very good you guys also treated us to, to some breakfast and lunch and uh, don't tell anybody about that <laughs> you get for signing up for the first course <laughs> Well, congratulations on the, uh, graduating the course, and we can't wait to see your license when you hold it up. Make sure you block out the address and everything. Sounds great. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. You guys have a great day, and we'll catch you later.